Pentatonics. And you're watching Stark Insider. It's a big goofball. Big complexity. Oh my god! Pentatonics, the two-time Grammy-winning a cappella group, is in Napa. Naturally, I've got to go see these guys in person. <laughs> Discovered after winning NBC's The Sing-Off, they now have 10 million subscribers on YouTube and 1.5 billion views. Known earlier for their covers of artists like Daft Punk and Lord, they made the move to original material in their latest album. When did it hit that it was actually going to turn into something you would do more on a regular basis? I think later on the sing-off, like, is when I was like, this is something very special and people enjoy it a lot and it's something I have a passion for. Because none of us knew we wanted to do acapella professionally. That's yes. something you don't mm. know that you're going to do. But um, we were all like, wow, we're singing and enjoying it. Let's run with it. Because it first started just as friends and us like hanging out and wanting to hang out with each other. Right. And it just became something really great and really awesome. We all just like were really excited about it. And we were like, maybe this can continue, maybe we can win. Yeah. And we were really inspired by it. You get a lot of requests on YouTube. Your channel's like crazy. You have so many people there. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Yeah. And they're all playing in your, um, but this latest album, you looked at some of the original pieces. What was that creative process like? around doing that? It was an adventure. I mean, we, every day we would work with different writers and we would have sessions. Some would go horribly, some would go amazingly. Um, but it was cool. We got to explore different creative avenues, kind of figure out what our sound is. I feel like maybe we're still not sure. I think we're still exploring. for inspiration also in what strange sounds your voice can make and like do you play with that oh, a little? I would say that's, that's more all the time. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know it's funny I, I listen to a lot of music and it, I don't think it's strange sounds for the sake of strange sounds sake it's more to figure out how do you make great music so that's why I listen to a lot of pop music I listen to a lot of different types of music because I want to understand how these sounds could be utilized in a track. Yeah, yeah so that, that's practically it for what's strange sounds. What's the craziest sound? thing you've done around sound? Like what's your latest thing you've been trying to... Latest thing? Yeah. Uh, Let's hear a little bit. I don't know. I feel like you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I've been, I've been exploring a lot more singing. Yeah. Mm, a lot more singing. Yeah, a lot more singing all the time. Yeah, I've been singing a lot. Yeah, to their... Yeah, they were like, Kevin, stop singing. You beatbox. Jeez. But no, no, it's really been fun to learn a little bit about, about my voice because I've never really sung so much before. So now Pretty I'm singing good, a lot. Yeah. I'm getting better. Watch Thank you. <laughs> like going crazy. Yeah. When I see a lot of bands go on stage, there's a lot of equipment, instruments. Is it just simple? You just go up there and, you know, just 
five of you and you sing or what's it's pretty much I mean there's not really <laughs> the aside from <laughs> right 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 the concept is simple but I mean there is I mean we do have a kind of a big crew and we have production mm -hmm. and there's a lot more that goes into it than just walking on stage and singing like it's what? Is it like oh our inner gosh. monitors yeah, we have entire ears. mixes like I have Kirsty in my right ear and then Mitch in my left ear and like and like yeah and then we have to line it up with all the um content that's happening behind us we have to be at the exact same tempo every time what we're doing is so incredibly taxing on our voices and we're doing like choreo while we do it and so we're exhausted and when you're not singing the solo you're like literally going da, 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 like in the background so it's like <laughs> you're just exhausted by the end of the show it takes everything out of you and so when we do like one two three shows in a row it's uh, I feel like sometimes people don't realize how incredibly taxing that is on your body yeah. so you can't you can't uh, lend yourself to your instruments or anything of that sort no, yeah totally. but I think this tour in particular is gonna be really fun because the type of production everything we're using um, and the content is gonna really highlight what's already there before we totally. really kept it super simple but um, I think now we've found a really tasteful combination of, of visuals and what you're gonna hear vocally that will really um, be a fun show. Right, but it is I'm our really hardest excited. Show vocally. It is our hardest show, yeah. but it's going to be really cool. I'm why excited. Is it, <laughs> why is it your hardest show? Are they? Do you think it's a hard? It's a hard show. Yeah, I think that um, it is definitely our hardest show. It, we just we just always push ourselves in terms of range and arrangement, and really everything. So. This is our, you know, this is our most recent tour, so it's definitely going to be the hardest. We could have said that the last tour before that. Too. Yeah, this yeah, show would have not been well. physically possible for me two years ago. Definitely not. I would have been, been training able to for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, this next song we've never performed anywhere before, so this will be the debut. And it's also our new single. The very first time that I saw your brown eyes, your lips said hello, and I said hi. Right then you were the one But I was caught up The physical attraction But to my satisfaction Baby you were more than just a face And if I If I see that I could be the one and only Promise that you'll never leave me alone I just want to be the one you need I just want to be the one who serves you Sometimes I feel as if I don't deserve you I cherish every moment that we share Much for yeah. spending Thank some you. time with me. though, I quickly forget this as I get caught up in its catchy beat.
Titanic. Ooh, no, 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 no,